It's always easy keeping oaths and promises in the light of day in predictable everyday life. But when darkness comes, only your survival instinct can guide your decisions. He couldn't make it, sir. Mud and the smell of death of friends who will always judge you. Help me. Can your own suffering redeem you for decisions that are never completely right? Citadel, pride of the Persian Empire, is no more. I heard about the wretched, inconceivable that lurks in the shadows. Souls are lost in the sacred archives, forever prisoners of time. No one knows what became of the Hyrcanian forest. The Chidra and vile creatures fester beneath the canopy. Brave the raging sea and the chaos in its waves. We must break the curse that plagues our kingdom. But there are creatures, gods, banished for their sins. They could do us all. darkest hour. Do not lose hope. New Cycle is a city building game with focus on survival. Establish a settlement and develop it all the way from humble beginnings to industrial metropolis. Ensure the survival of your people against all odds. The year is 2073. After an apocalyptic series of devastating solar flares, human society has been thrown into disarray. With the technological advancements of the past almost completely lost, the remnants of humanity now struggle to survive. But even in this desperate world, one thing remains true. As one era ends, another era begins. It is time for a new cycle. Build and expand your settlement using free-form or grid-based design. Seek, gather, and produce new resources to advance your civilization. In its early stages, your settlement is heavily dependent on hunting and gathering. As you develop it further, however, you will rediscover the more advanced and complex ways of the past to produce goods on a large scale. Allocate workers to keep your settlement running smoothly. Your human resources have to be managed just as thoroughly as your production chains. Take care of your people's basic needs. Distribute food, water, tools and clothes and regulate their daily work schedule. Enrich their life with entertainment, 
prevent diseases, and improve your people's health by providing medical facilities. As your population grows, difficult decisions have to be made to determine how your society treats its people and the nature around it. Choose your laws and decrees wisely. Your people are the sum of your knowledge. With every new member of your community, you get closer to rediscovering the forgotten technologies of the old world until you finally reach a new era of progress. Each era has the potential to improve your production as well as the lives of your people, giving you access to numerous new buildings. As your settlement develops into an industrial city, running on fuel and burning coal, a whole new level of productivity opens up to you. Mass production, automation, factories feeding factories via complex systems of conveyor belts. Modernize your workforce by training your people in these specialized tasks. But there is more to the world of New Cycle. Explore your surroundings to find places of interest and untapped resources. Build outposts to make them accessible to your people and establish a train network to transport them. This hostile world will challenge you with sandstorms, shortages, wildfires, and other natural disasters. Be prepared and always ready to act quickly. But nature isn't the only thing to worry about. Refugee crises, unrest, disease outbreaks, the list of challenges is long. You will have to make crucial decisions, many of them painful, to avert the downfall of your civilization. Remember, there is always hope, and our greatest achievement is yet to come. New Cycle. There must be a future beyond survival. Hurry, Ashley. Hide. Mommy? That's Blood out of Bird Island? Right you are, miss. <sighs> no one lives here, right? Not these days. Someone's grave? I've been here for a long time. No one's ever noticed me. That's why I know you're the one. How about we team up? I think I can help get your memories back. What's wrong? Why did you never tell me Dad was alive? Dad, I promised your dad. Promised him what? Look after her. I'll be back for her someday. see this. Dad, careful. See? I've got my little girl to keep me safe. Come on, baby girl. I got you. Is that... Dad! Happy. I want what you want. Joel Miller. But not at any cost.
I think it's time we had the talk. What? What time is it? There comes a time in every young person's life when they have to work their dad's shift at the guard shed while he goes and bets on the goblin ball game. Yep, it's happening. You bet it is. You'll meet exciting people. I'm bringing a basket of baked goods to my family. You'll get to use the tools of the trade. You wish to challenge me to ceremonial combat? And if you get in trouble, just pick up the phone and call one of the official advisors. They're always happy to help. Wait, you're gonna have everyone I know thrown in jail? Well, I wasn't going to, but that's a much better idea. So think you'll be okay? Of course, Dad. But if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do things my way. Before I go and face my destiny, can you spot me a fiver? This moron doesn't speak for us. Mind if we just leave? Oh, Bill, do speak up. I can barely hear you over all that racket. Do not admit anyone else today. We're full up to half an hour. Is it that you don't have it, or that you don't want to give it to me? Orlando is a a real a a Pardon my goblin. Wait a minute. You're gonna give me, a 12-year-old, the power to rewind time? Well, I wasn't going to, but that's a much better idea. Try not to do any irreversible damage. Lil, Lil, wake up. If this is to be the end, then I will tell them of the beginning, of how your spark was ignited. Of your will to survive. Of the power that flowed from within you into this enchanting realm of beauty and decay. Your flame has grown strong, but in the end, it was not enough. You answered the call, but who answered yours? None but the darkness, the malice, the relentless legions of the mist. Alone, no one stands against the Shroud. But you are not alone, for now we come with iron and steel, and the flame of the Ancients in our veins. Together, we take back what was stolen. We reshape this Earth to our will. Together, we declare, if this is to be the end, it will not be ours. Lately, our old friend, the Siryu clan's been acting mighty suspicious. It's a pleasure to meet you, Hasuga-san. I'm sending you to Hawaii. There's someone there who wants to meet you. It's your mother, Akane-san. What the hell's going on? Freeze. Cure you, son? High time you met the head of the Barracudas. Name's Dwight. Barracudas are after me. Akane-san, they're after her too, you know. You seeing this? This is someone else, Ganja. You trying to tell me there are Yakuza in Hawaii? The head of Kazuma Kiryu. What better trophy than the head of a dragon? I really, really need your help, like, right now. I'd take a bullet for a bud any day. <sighs> take cover! You can always turn a new leaf, but you can't turn back the clock. All you get is the precious time you're given. You ready for this, Kasuga? 
Let's do this. The King of Iron Fist Tournament to we must seek Jin Kazama. The battle to decide the ranks of the new world begins now! Oh, I was born for this day. You look like Vader and mix, I get a load of this day. You were chosen no threat, and now it's obvious. After rocking and gold, I'm not anonymous. The fighters will battle for personal glory and the fate of their countries. I'll give Kazuya a nice smack in the face! Shaman of Salvation, long have we waited for this day. Nave! What did you do to Lyria? You are unworthy. Good thing we know where that red ship is going. Grand Cypher will hunt it down in no time. Stop stalling and come hit me! Arise, my lovely blades! Lyria. I will protect her. But I can no longer feign innocence. I knew this path was wrong. Where were you when I needed you the most? The ordeals of our pilgrimage are nearly at an end. Your crew is largely to thank for that. Acknowledge my vision. And salvation shall come. No one gives a crap about your evil plan. Just give our friends back. You hear me? That is the light of the apocalypse, the fire of doomsday. If the attack lands, all the skies will be obliterated. Lyria, ready? It's time to end this. Now I'm ready. In that case, let's win! I'm putting it all out there! No way! Fit to me! You're so open! Don't run now! I expected more. Blast away! Are you taking your ready for this? Shall I show off a little? You're outmatched. I'll show you the difference in our levels. Itadori! Uh. Let's hit him with a one-two! I'll lecture you later. Then, once we've both got an open, we'll shower him with blows. There! There's really only one piece of advice I can give you. 
And believe in me, it's simply swapping my position for that of my opponents. A boogie woogie! Now we've reached the time where our technique actually begins. If that makes me the worst possible match for you! I'll do it! Domain expansion! Chimera Shadow Garden! Run! The interpretation of the technique! Domain expansion. Malevolent Shrine. This is how Jujutsu should be used. Shall we share a little heart? Maki! I know! You can't exorcise us. We curses are the true humans. Domain expansion! Domain expansion. Infinite Void. I have to get strong or I won't be able to choose how I die. Black Black! are the worst of the worst of the worst. Still, you're good at what you do. Even if what you do is far from good. Welcome to Task Force X. Let me take a look at you. A muscle head. A nut job. Something that offends my eyes. And a homeless person. <laughs> You're perfect. Just checking. We're all seeing that thing, right? This has one way ticket written all over it. Oi, what? What the hell have you sent us into? It's a bloody war zone out here. Eyes up, people. Congratulations, Task Force Ash. You're the first assets to make it into Metropolis alive. I was just about to do that! Task Force X. Your new mission is to kill the Justice League. Taking on the Justice League is the worst idea you've ever heard? I kind of zoned out. What did you think would happen? You'd crawl out of your cells, swoop in, save the day? Which superheroes did you say you were? Again! Remember, your heads are ticking. not gonna make it. Waller, the penguin is in flight. Repeat, the penguin is in flight. Then let's clip his wings. Oh my god! He's gotten up! Hitting him again. He's ran out the door! Somebody stop him! <laughs> did that get him? <laughs> oh, uh, no! Uh, it, it very much did not get him! Uh, Waller! Waller! Blow up his head! That's what I'm talking about. Moonwalk. Next stop is That's the dark hour. A time period hidden between one day and the next. They only appear during the dark hour, and attack anyone who roams free outside the coffins. It's our job to defeat them. Pretty exciting, huh? Persona.
Next. Come on! Why do you try to fight when you know it's hopeless? In fact, I don't even really have a good reason to live. For me, or you, or anyone, just simply existing gives our lives meaning. Soon, the end will come. We are not giving up, no matter how long it takes! To me, this is what it means to live. Ready for the foam star party? Here we go! Oh yeah! Ready to roll! Maximum Jet Justice Power! When we take down an opponent, we call it a chill. Penguin Squad! Go time! Let's huddle together and team up! My turn! The fun's just starting! Let's shake things up! Mountie and friends are in the lead! Next time I go to a party, you should come with me. The Federation of Super Earth, keeping managed democracy safe with the lives of our heroes, protecting freedom from tyranny with the gentle touch of an iron fist. But liberty's enemies march ever closer. Together, we must take back control of freedom. Together for managed democracy. Together for victory. Together for liberty. Together for liberty. Together. They fight for freedom. Will you? Enlist in the galaxy's elite fighting force. Work together to protect your future. Dispense peace with the ultimate weapon. Become a legend. Galaxy's last line of offense. Fifteen hundred years have passed since Christ broke the cross they nailed him to. With fire and steel, he took revenge upon the non believers. Amen. God's Inquisitors keep this world on a leash. No secrets stay hidden from them, and no sinners can avoid their punishment. But unbeknownst, an ancient evil is lurking in the Unworld, waiting to be released.
give us strength not to forgive those who sin against us. We are banishers. We end suffering for those who live. We bring closure to those who don't. There is no love. Only betrayal. The wall between the living and the dead is under threat. You, it seems, have a part to play. Our fate are in the hands of others now. This nightmare chose New Eden for a reason. I'll do whatever I can to help. If help we can, the nightmare will end, and Red and I shall do the ending. So I may have my resurrection, we'll kill people for our own ends. We face a choice. If you're to come back, this is when it stops. Do we kill? Or do we part forever? We must decide now. Life to the living. Look out! Death, Death to, to the, the dead. dead. Time and God have not yet healed. There is no God here. The Banisher sides with the living. You're neither. Not Banisher. Not living. Will you come to her aid? Come no closer to her! Now, when all is lost. If you do, I'll be waiting. Spug City is the home of the Primal Instinct Headquarters, located in the Hex Realms. Here, bounty hunters are regulated and dispatched anywhere there's trouble. In a world full of interdimensional rifts, giant people-eating monsters, aliens and creatures of the void, regular police just aren't enough. On top of all this, people have to fear Rancha, the diabolical warlock bent on taking over the world with evil robots, his occasional summoning of demons, and use of motivational quotes. It's my passion. I believe in doing what you love. This is where the bounty hunters come in. Hunters can make big money taking down these menaces and protecting the people from chaos. And there's plenty of bounties to be had in the Hex Realms. So what do we have here, Freddy? It's a creeper beast, Miss Jade. Be ready, they're capable of leaping great distances. So how did your date go? I really don't want to talk about that right now. That good, was it? I'd consider making out with this creeper beast before spending one more minute with the jerk who took me out last night. I've never met anyone so full of themselves. Bounty confirmed. Of course it is, it's me we're talking about. Each hunter is assigned a drone. This drone documents everything the hunter does. It also advises and confirms bounties while deducting any property damage incurred from the hunter's personal account. This stops hunters from being too reckless and causing more damage than necessary. Usually. Mode. Bounty confirmed. Deduction for property damage, 90%. Oh, wow, that's a good luck. Booyah. Bounty confirmed. So how'd your date go last night? As if I need to ask. Victor, it was dreamy. As you could imagine, she was so impressed with the stories I told about myself, she barely said a word the whole night. Fantastic. Haha, <laughs> yeah, fist bump.
since the day the portal network collapsed, stranding us in these realms. We have searched for a way home. Lost and alone in the dangerous labyrinth of fantastical worlds. Welcome to the lands of Fae. Every portal is a chance for salvation. Uniting the lost survivors. Or leading us deeper into this nightmare. Nightingale, our beacon of hope. But beyond our reach. As long as we stand together, our journey will unite us. You, the Realm Walkers, are all that is left. Let me tell you a tale of Red Wall. Liam and Sophia plan to wed. We must together. But vicious sea rat attacked. Don't let them get to the rafters. Where did the rats come from? We've got to get everyone out of here now. You better run, you nasty little mouselings. It would be a long and treacherous journey. But hope shines brightest in the darkest of places. And the scouts finally take a stand against the savage invades. With new friends, we need to continue on to Red And old foes. Slubber, come and get me. It will take all the strength, trust, and bravery. Stand up to tyranny in the lost dimensions of Red Wall, the Scout. In the end, all 
flames, the twin hope, and oblivion. It is time. was no warning. One day everything worked and the next day it didn't. There was panic everywhere. 
In one stroke, we'd suddenly been dropped a century back in time. But we didn't know what panic really was. Not until the nukes started flying. Legion. An AI whose evolution scared even its own designers. They planned to pull the plug on it, but they did the same thing to us first. Its algorithms told it we were the threat, and that the logical solution was genocide. We fought back, of course. The Atlanta pullback. The last stand for what was left of the U.S. military. I was there. One of the survivors caught up in the battle. We thought the pullback would change things. It didn't. No, 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 unacceptable. Hmm, I can do better. Ah, yes, perfection. <gasps> Don't worry, little rabbit, gonna draw you a friend. And let's blow this up. <laughs> draw and lead your army of medieval beasts in our turn based strategy, Inculinati. Coming soon, real soon. Rebels who defied heaven with arms fell headlong from the fleeing skies, hurled, vanquished into a dim abyssal gulf. We forsaken, forever condemned to taste burdened air and churning ash, racked for eternity with obdurate pride and steadfast hate. We, who chose never to yield or submit, strived to make a heaven of hell. We raised our great capital, Pandemonium, from which his dark majesty ruled, till vanished he did from his infernal throne. From our strongholds deep, we now rage against one another, each fixing our plans upon the throne. Here, at last, I shall be free. To reign is worth ambition, though in this place of darkness made visible, better to rule in hell than serve in heaven.
fed up with fleeing, hiding and fighting in a world infested with zombies? Well, put your trust in me, Jeff Tusk. And put your trust in paradise. Thanks to our zombie guard technology, everyone is safe. Zombies won't attack you, they'll defend you. Paradise is a safe place for everyone, where you'll have nothing more to fear. Join me. Everyone is welcome in, in paradise. Shh, I know, Brian. Stop fixating. You have to move on. It was a beautiful dream. How could Dad have done any better? You should be ashamed of yourself. After everything I've done for you. Well, you know what? Oh, forget it. We still have lots of work to do. All right, Brian? After all, life always finds a way. So, it doesn't take much to find yourself in a predicament. It feels familiar, as I keep discovering how much has changed during my absence. I'm a thaumaturge, and staring into the depths of the human soul is my craft. As classy as that sounds, there are times where I have to get my hands dirty. Hey, Suski! The gift of thaumaturgy runs deep in my family. I have it just like my beloved father had it before me. Whether it is truly a gift or an immeasurable curse is up for debate. Did father have his grimoire on him at the time of his death? But why would anyone want Papa's grimoire? What do you intend to do? Your power is terrifying. Do you know that? Your absence from Warsaw has happily come to an end, I hope. The boundary that separates good from evil is hazy and elusive. I didn't catch your name. Some people believe their evil deeds are the work of inner demons. Yet I know these demons don't come to those with clear conscience. They bear a name, Salutas. They always come uninvited. That giant bird must enjoy it. I can tame these beings and bend them to my will. <laughs> of course, it's not easy, as the border between thaumaturgy and insanity can be ambiguous. How about a little game? You may think that in this world our actions are ours alone, but I tend to see it rather differently. Brave enough to cross even that final boundary? My name is Viktor Shulski, and you will soon learn what the Thaumaturge is really capable of.
Peggy 16. We strike when they least expect. And we will break them. Their tyranny ends now. Moving out, enemy! In position! Verifiez votre secteur! L'ennemi approche! One good thrust is all it takes. <gasps> Throwing grenade! Have some lead poisoning! We are in occupied France. And our mission is classified. Listen up, you pipsqueak, for I have a tale to spin. This is no story of fatherly love, nor is it one of some ring that must be destroyed. It is a story of a tactical RPG game waiting for its hero. Once upon a time, three men of great vision wanted to create a game of strategy, heroes, and triumph. So, they started with creating a world unlike any other. Next, they composed a combat, both fluid and challenging, with multiple enemies, skills, and outcomes. Henceforth, they added a follower's management system. Then, crafting to fashion resources and tools and weapons, now, 
You are chosen by developers to bring peace to this troubled land with trusted companions at your side. Journey deeper into this mysterious man's heart. Find a sense of purpose and fulfillment. This is my home. My planet. Adelpha. Ever since I was a girl, I wanted to become a Dolotai guardian. To protect Adelpha. And all its creatures. Big and small. Virtuous and vicious. To defend against those who want to exploit its beauty. Destroy it. But now, we face our greatest threat. We need all the help we can get. Cutter Slade, your friendly neighborhood invader slayer. Different planet. Same problems.
It's been a while since I last talked to anyone like this. What's the matter, Emily? Why are you so sad all the time? I got a job. I'm taking a client to visit her uncle to set up. You know what that is? Nothing is the matter, nothing at all. It's a place where you go and you need a vacation. But that place always felt inevitable to me. Like I'm chained to it. Ten years now. More even since he died. Or like it's keeping me around for something. He died a hero. He died so now nobody asks anymore. Nobody asks. What's the matter, Emily? Why the hell do I wake up hearing that damn voice? I don't want to take up the past. It's just me now. Alone. In the dark. And now, everyone, Princess Peach. In this action game, she slashes, sings, sleuths, and so much more with show-stopping transformations. She takes the stage in Princess Peach Showtime. It is said that time marches to the beat of a drum. A fleeting moment can feel like a lifetime for those caught in its deadly rhythm. And a lifetime can pass in the blink of an eye for anyone embracing its bitter end. The only thing we know for sure is that time marches forward. Even if we are apart, still we are one. Without hesitation, no. Without remorse. If the drum drives the rhythm, then the river directs the flow. Let's do this, together. How many mountains must you move to alter the river below? Let us not forget the pain of Master Shoin and the countless others who have suffered. As the smoke rises, so shall we! Umois, a veil that will sacrifice their partner for duty. So which of you will do the deed? At last! The bell has tolled on the age of the Consul. The return of the Sovereign. Welcome, Arisen. Pawns have long awaited your arrival. Learn all you can of this world you must protect. We ask that all be spared the horrors of the fell dragon. From this moment forth, thou art arisen. Here's my chance. If you're discovered, yours won't be the only head that rolls. What is your purpose here? When t'was all but certain that her son would take his father's place, word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. Pitiable Arisen. Why dost thou fight? Arisen. Believe in your own destiny, Arisa. 
Show me the path thou wouldst walk. If ye intend to do what I could not, and fell the dragon true, I would gladly pass all to the wisdom I possess into your hands. War, your great passion. How appropriate, for it makes you blind to our ascension. We, we were here well before your kings, before your religions. We will be here after your empires. We are domination. We are power beyond imagination. We are blood, death, multitude. We are the terror that whispers in the dark. We are the chaos in all things and the order within chaos. many things, but we, we have hope. Zenith of our civilization, our pride and crowning achievement. Yet once our greatest accomplishment became the herald of our demise. The AI seal, along with his unstoppable army, shattered our pride, our dignity, and our world. The long night of despair had fallen brought about by the hands of our very own creations. As humanity's last bastion of hope, we took refuge inside Earth's subterranean shelter. Armed with ten outposts, we sought out the pieces of our shattered civilization.
We are the Earth United Army. And with us, hope lives again. Rated M for Mature. Come on, new kid! Put your shit on! Come on, buddy! Let's go, Stan! Snow day, everyone! Let me tell you about the day of the big storm. The day the sun died. The day there was no school. And when school is canceled and all the kids are free, it can only mean one thing. Game on! New kids, find Stan and smash his army. And then kick him in the bowels if you can. But none of us could have known that a day off from school would turn into our worst nightmare. My spies saw your army gearing up for battle! Your spies? What the fuck are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, your, yeah, your spies, Cal! Was it the storm of the century? Was it just boring-ass climate change? Or was it a curse placed upon our quiet little mountain town by a malevolent force bent on revenge? <laughs> so intrigued by the endless winter. What the fuck? A plus ten axe? You can't do that! Others used it as cover to seek unimaginable power. You know what, Cal? I learned something today. You're a little bitch. So our last hope lies with you, new kid. You're the only one who can unite us and save South Park. And then all the stores can finally open again. Yeah, and we can all get back to going to school. Right, and we can all get back to going to school. You turned your back on us. I think we all know whose fault it is. <laughs> he just wants to join us so he can betray us again. Enough! Oh my god, that could be it. Thanks a lot, new kid. This is all your fault. Dark Christmas is upon us, and he <laughs> has taken his final form. Peggy 12. History is pretty big. And history can go in a lot of different directions. It's all about this fight for history and who can control it. The ability for us to kind of push boundaries outside of what actually happened. In a way that hasn't been done in other four-air schemes. What if we have alien visitors? How is that going to affect history? The ability to take it off the rails. What if steam power was viable for real technologies? Balloons and zeppelins and steampunk. What if we have to fight off this evil rogue AI? I think a history buff could get excited about the alternate takes on history. One of the main things that sets millennia off are the variant ages, which changes how the timeline goes every time you play. You could go into a crisis age, like the Age of Blood, and immediately see impact all across the map. We are showing so much at any given time in a much stronger way than other games tend to do. We also have our deep economic model with the goods. You can cut that tree down and make logs, but you could also take that tree and turn it into paper. Which can be used to make books and religious texts. It always feels like there's something new going on in Millennia. It's been really rewarding to see players get into ages for the first time. When we hear somebody talking about their experience in the game. I got into the Age of Revolutions and all these rebels appeared out of nowhere. And that's exactly what we're trying to build. We bring in experience and knowledge of how to create great games. The only way that we know how to build games is to build games that we love to play. Each game will be unique. It makes replays a lot of fun. It's not infinitely replayable, but I did the math and it's a really high number. <laughs> Players are defining the ages. They're shaping the course of history. That's what Millennia is. My name is Testavine, and the world is passing me by. I guess as I get a little older, I'm starting to feel how things change. They decline and go away. That's how it was with my grandma. I loved her so much. I thought I knew her better than anyone. But looking through her old things, we found hints of something she never told us about. A man who wasn't my grandfather, a burglary ring, some sort of lost fortune. We can't ask her about these things anymore, so we have to go looking for the answers ourselves. 
My mom and I are out on the road, searching. I don't know what we'll find, but whatever it is, I know we'll find it together.